Welcome everybody to our next training. Today we're going to go over how to create a contact list to then send surveys to in Qualtrics. Uh, first from our projects tab, we are going to go to our directory. Our directory is essentially an address book we're going to send uh, surveys to. You have two things here you can do. You can do lists and samples. We're going to start with lists. So lists are essentially what we're going to send to. We can go ahead and create one right here. We'll just call it test list. And we're going to add contacts. You can either manually type in information here and add people. Uh, or my preferred way is I like to upload a file. I'm going to download a template here and show you what it looks like. And that way you have an idea of what a contact list looks like. So when you've got your file pulled up, there's a couple things to keep in mind. They will only accept like CSV files or TSV files. I prefer C CSV myself. And so there's a couple of things you're going to want. You're going to want a first name, a last name, and an email column. I also like to have the external data reference column. This is a unique identifier for contacts. And then you can have any other field you want. I have an example of department, city, and country with just some fake contacts. If you wanted to, you could really create any fields you want, like... Uh, Location, state, or you know, race, ethnicity, gender. It could be really be anything. Uh, once you have your file ready to go, uh, save it again, as I said, as a CSV, and then you're going to hop back into Qualtrics. Now that we're back in Qualtrics, we're going to select a file, grab your list, Press next. You can see it recognizes my imported as field from my fields in my file as first name, last name, email, and external data reference. If these were not listed here as they're supposed to be, and let's say they just said embedded data field because you may have called this F name or just name or primary name, you could click on embedded data and change it to first name as an example. Your embedded data fields are those extra fields that you're bringing in that could really be anything under the sun. It is really important though that you're consistent with these. If you have department with an uppercase D, the next time you do this, you better upload it the same way. Otherwise, your survey is not going to recognize it if it's a lowercase D or you misspell it, something like that. Now, I upload the file and it will import our contacts. It is currently preparing the import. It's already imported the contacts. When it says indexing contacts, that just simply means it's making it so you can see them here on the screen. Now, while we're waiting for them to import, let's talk a little bit about what samples are and then we'll go over what contacts look like in your directory. Samples are portions of a contact list. If you create a sample, you give it a name, you select what list it's going to come from. And then you can say, hey, I want to grab a certain percentage of them or a certain number of the contacts. Maybe you want five of my 10 random contacts. Press create and it will create a sample for you. You can then send the survey to to get a smaller portion of your contact list. So you're not sending it to everyone this first time. Now I'm going to go back into my list and show you what these contacts look like. You can see here it shows their status, which is are they opted in or out of Qualtrics? If they were opted out, it would say opted out here. You can see that there's this icon here on the right side. This allows you to see any of those additional embedded data fields you uploaded, like city, country, and department. Again, this is just a quick view, which means if they're not there, that's okay if you click on them. You can see everything that's a part of a contact, including any lists they're a part of, statistics as in how many, what's their response rate, how many times have you sent them surveys, how many times have they responded, when was their last response, and so on. And also from this page, delete people or delete multitudes of people. Delete contacts, opt them out. 
You can edit their embedded data in bulk together, or you can export them. And list options, it allows you to export the whole list, merge, duplicate contacts, view list samples if you've created any, or you can just go to your samples page. Uh, you can create samples from list on this page. You can rename it or delete the list. If you need to add more contacts in the future to this list, you just click on add contacts to list. Now, if you have a list of a thousand people and you need to find something specific, you can search contact info. You can search their first name, their last name, their email, or their external data reference. Now, thank you for joining us on this XM directory training. When you are ready to learn your next step in Qualtrics, please feel free to come back here, subscribe, and Continue to learn how to use your free Qualtrics account. Thanks, everybody.